What's going on YouTube? Kyle can come at you with the uh, first black and white 2 Wi-Fi battle upload of the new year. Anyway, um, I made this team because I want to try it out sub-punching Boa. Uh, sub Tyranna Boa. Yeah, that thing. Um, main threats on his end, uh, Horse. Uh, maybe if it's Land Ursus Scarf, that might pose a problem. Um, other than that, not really too much. I mean, Breloom is kind of there. Oh, I just have to let something go to sleep. And uh, like I said, if his lander says scarf, that might be a problem, but but I'll just have to keep my bronze all around for that. Anyway, uh, black and white two was revealed. No, oh, wow, black and white two. Gen six, ah, uh, powerful Gen six. Ah, I need to get a new 3DS now, but I'll leave that for another time. Anyway, let's get into this battle because I wanted to use Tarnaboa and I'm gonna use it. So uh, I thought he'd leave with Fortress. I didn't really care what he would really do though. So. Um, in the case that he didn't leave with Fortune Light with the Tiger Ricks anyway, just because uh, I could get a U-turn off, get some switch initiative. And in case he was one of those weird guys that had red card on Fortress, I'd rather get it burned now. So I'm just going to U-turn into my T-Tar because I know he's going to set up either rocks or has or spikes. Which doesn't really bother me at all because uh, I have Tentacruel, so that's fine. Uh, here, um, well also I went for the U-turn to kind of break his 30 so I could do something here. But I thought that he would think that I would have Flamethrower. Or fire blast. So I went for the substitute here. Um, so he switched on Eladia. So that wasn't really a bad play by him because uh, Boa isn't really seen anymore, and uh, having a fire move on T Tar is relatively common. So what I I just go for the sub, and now I'm going to go for the crunch. I just switched into his Terrakion. I don't really know why he did that. I mean, I guess to get the uh, justified boost. But um, I think right now what he's doing is uh, he's kind of panicking, so he's just switching around randomly to try to see what would get him the advantage. But right here, I'm just going to reveal the focus punch as he goes for the substitute, and that tells me he's the sub salad set, I believe that would be. Sub salad? Actually, I don't even think he actually ends up being sub salad, not like I would know, because it, 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 it dies. Spoilers, because, you know, Terrakian is going to die. Um, so now he's going to switch out as I go for another focus punch. For something to his fortress, and uh, fortress takes a focus punch to the face, and uh, that's all I could say about that. Um, he lives obviously his fortress. I get a crit. The crit did not matter at all because next turn I'm just going to go for a fire blast and uh, completely obliterate that fortress. So now that fortress is going to be marinating in the Pokemon Center for quite some time. So now I'm um, sitting back at pretty much full health right now. And he's going to have to sack something, because if he doesn't, I'm just going to run train on his team with the uh, Boa. So he's going to go back and out, out to his Terrakion, as I'm going to go Focus Punch. He's going to go for a close combat, because he needs to break my sub. Um, didn't really matter what he went for, because he was getting a Focus Punch in the face anyway, as I'm safe him on a sub. So I'm just going to Focus Punch him, and he's going to die. Oh, he ends up being Life Orb. Why is he sub Life Orb? That's fucking retarded. I didn't notice that before. Also, looking back on this game, I didn't really play too too great. Uh, it was kind of four in the morning when I was doing this, so yeah. Anyway, he goes to Breloom now. Uh, I know he's going to want to put me to sleep, so I'm just going to let him put my. I'm going to go. I'm going to go to my Gastrodon because if he, in the event that he doesn't put me to sleep, then he'll probably go for a sub, and then I'll probably just take it up the ass from this Breloom, and then that'll just be no homo, no homo. This is fucking gay. But I figured to go for the so Spore as opposed to the Grass move. So here, I thought he would go for the Swords Dance, which is why I went to my Landorus to get the Intimidate on him, as he'd only be a plus one. But in reality, I should have went the Bronze on, um, and I went into this stupidly because, I, like I said, I thought he'd go for the Swords Dance. But he can't really do much of Bronze on. I mean, he might he might be able to like Drain Punch, Mag Punch, or whatever, but it's not really any big deal. So here, I go for the U-turn. Um, because even if he doesn't go for the mock punch, it's not going to do very much. He's at minus one and I resist. And uh, he's going to go into his Landorus. And um, it's actually really good that I get the U-turn damage on him now. Because I get to see that he, he's leftovers and not scarfed. Um, so that kind of leaves me uh, an easier time. But not really. Because I still have bronze on around, like I said, at the start of the battle. So we're just going to exchange rocks here. But I, honestly, I should have went for the Hidden Power Ice. Because um, I went for it now, like a retard. And before I made this move, I'm like, I should definitely go for the gyro ball. I definitely should. Because he's probably going to U-turn out now. But it's whatever. Because you want a lot of I get some super effective damage on it. But gyro ball probably would have done a lot more. Um, 
Edge, Grant, just because uh, Latias is much faster than Bronzong. So, because he went to Latias, um, and I see leftovers, I'm thinking that he's going to be one of the Calm Mind sets or something like that. So I'm just going to go into my T-Tar, because why the fuck not going to T-Tar on a lot of us? And, um, like I said, because that's all leftovers, I know he's not a trick or anything. But he actually uh, breaks out the sub, so I'm like, mm, interesting, I suppose. Guess he went into that thinking, knowing that I would switch out into T-Tar to um, fuck his shit up. But he's just going to go for the Dragon Pulse. And this turn, I believe I went for the Crunch as opposed to the sub. Because um, I wasn't really sure what he would do. In the case he like went for a surf or something, I I don't know if I'd be able to take it too well and make a make a sub afterwards. But after seeing the Dragon Pulse, uh, I figured that he was uh, possibly one of the sub roar sets. But I, no, I, I didn't even consider that actually. Um, I don't know what set he was honestly. I was like, fuck it, Boa sub, and now I'm gonna fucking kill shit. Cause I saw that uh, from previous Dragon Pulse damage, uh, one Dragon Pulse will not break my sub. So. I'm just gonna set up a sub and go for the crunch. As he has to go for the dragon pulse. Um, well, he doesn't really have to. He could go into something else and break the sub afterwards. But I guess he thought that dragon pulse would break my sub. But unfortunately for him, it's not going to because of the special defense boost that uh, Rock types get in Sandstorm. So uh, Boa is now behind the sub once again, and he's going to bring in his uh, Haxorus. So now people are talking to me on Bookface for some odd reason. Anyway, uh, I'm just going to go for the Focus Punch because I figured that would be stronger uh, than Crunch. Obviously, base 150 power, um, even after Stab and whatnot. So, I'm just going to go for the Focus Punch. And, unfortunately, it does not kill the Haxorus. Um, brings him down pretty low, but doesn't kill him. And right here, I thought he would, I might be choice or something, so I just went out to Landorus. Like, again, stupidly. I was just like, no, I need to save Boa. Boa needs to live. Boa's killed three and a half Pokemon in this battle. And he ends up going for the Dragon Dance, which I really don't know why. Like, there was no point for him to doing that. And, yeah, so now I'm just going to outspeed and hit him with an Earthquake. I guess he thought he would uh, try to get up two. But even if I did leave him T-Tar, I would just kill him with a Crunch. So, I mean, it's whatever. So, now he knows I'm Scarfed, so I have to switch out. Um, I believe I go into my Bronzong because that's the best thing I have to go into against this thing. Because um, I figured he'd go for either, if he would reveal Hidden Powers now if he had it, which I don't believe he does at all, or just go for like U-Turn or something. But I don't remember what he had left on his team at this point, so using U -turn, going for U-Turn wouldn't be that productive. But he's going to go for it now because I have Bronzong out, and what is he going to? Um, he goes in the Breloom. As I go for Hidden Power Ice, I believe, or maybe Terrible, I don't remember. I go for Hidden Power Ice, um, because it would hit both of them for super effective, and yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, if I went for Gyro Ball there, it might have killed the Breloom, I don't know. But at this point, the score is 6 2, so I'm, I'm just getting, I'm just like, oh, you fuck this shit, and I'm going ham. I'm gonna kill this guy with Tyrant and Bow and fuck this shit up. So he's gonna go for Mach Punch, get a little bit extra damage on my uh, um, Bronzong. I don't know. Why? Because he still didn't reveal. There was one movie he didn't reveal. I don't know what it was. I don't know, maybe it was sub or some, something like that. I don't know. But now it was just. Uh, it's 6 to 1, my favor. And I thought Hidden Power Ice from about here would kill it. Um, I know it is a 2 hit KO, but after a uh, prior rock damage, I thought it would do. At least a little bit more, I thought it would lose too. But it doesn't. It doesn't KO him. I didn't really think it would have no special attack investment. And Bronzong doesn't really have the spectacular special attack. So he's going for a U-turn and kill me. And here I start fucking up. I'm just like, alright, I'm going to go into my landers now and finish you off with a Stone Edge. Because that'll finish you off at this range. But it really won't because Stone Edge doesn't kill him because he's bulky landers. It, it did a decent amount, I guess, considering nothing nothing at all but now I'm just gonna go into my reuniclus and kill him off with a shadow ball I thought about going for the I thought about going for side shop I'm like you know what no fuck it shadow ball is gonna kill you it doesn't matter what I go for so yeah that'll be it for this battle um yeah that's it for this battle uh, I'll upload more stuff later so you guys don't deal like comments subscribe for never so I'll go to next time later